Well, guys, we got some absolute face nappy zealot marching up and down a train carriage in York, demanding to see evidence of exemptions to face masks. This is obviously a breach of the Equality Act 2010 and can actually result in a nine grand fine for each person that he asked. Now, with it being 2021, he didn't stop there because he tried to swing a punch at someone not wearing a mask, so the fine should really be the least of his worries. This, though, it's got to be said, is the government and media's fault because at the end of the day, idiots like this wouldn't exist if the government didn't spread fear 24 hours a day. As you know, they've done this with the help of media tosspots literally consistently all of the time. But back to this story here, it seems the old bell escorted him off the train in the end, so let's see what was said and what actually happened. Here it says, face mask row sparks brawl on train as furious passengers come to blows, leaving kids in tears. The fight broke out after a man wearing a white face mask starts shouting at passengers to wear a mask. Which obviously you shouldn't be doing, but it seems he got told where to go in the end anyway. Others were shouting back over the seats, you're an embarrassment, you're a fucking embarrassment, which of course he bloody is, he's a media puppet and nothing more. Just there believing the media's propaganda, shit in his pants like a little pussy. Here it says others on the train from York tried to calm down the situation and saying let's think of the children, but the argument escalates to the point where people can be seen grappling each other over the seats. Obviously that's when you really know it's completely fucked up and this geezer is brainwashed to fuck. Imagine thinking it's a good idea to attack people for not wearing a mask when you're worried about your health. Surely that is one of the most stupid things you've ever seen. It goes on, the man who went up and down the carriage then swings a punch towards a non-face mask wearing passenger. The brawl reaches its peak when the man was who was originally telling people to wear a mask shouts at one man, you've got one chance to walk away. Before shouting at the top of his lungs and trying to get out of his seat, at the end of the day he's making threats there so the passengers could have actually dealt with him. In the end it doesn't seem that they actually did. I guess he's lucky he's up in York and not down in London or maybe in Manchester. Definitely would have happened in a city I would think. Though to be honest I expect it would have happened in York, let's be honest. Maybe he was just lucky here that he didn't end up getting a slap for what he did. It goes on in the background, two women who are pushing and pulling each other end up grappling on the seats with one of them swinging a punch at each other. See even the birds are having a go at it. This is just fucking madness and once again as I said is the government's fault and of course the media. They have stirred this shit up so what do they really expect? There they go on about kids being in tears and that I'm not really going on about that that's just bollocks. At the end of the day people shouldn't be fighting over fucking masks. Here she says basically the bloke to the left with the bald head started questioning where people's masks were the moment the train departed from York. He was told he was upsetting kids by shouting, to which he just hurled abuse back. She said that the family who were the focus of his rage then left to another carriage. So the people he originally started on just walked away from this idiot and yet he carried it on. Here it says the dispute about masks continued though and while other people who were on the carriage said they were exempt he still carried on swearing and telling them to prove it. Like I said breaching the Equality Act 2010. The government's website tells you not to do that shit the complete and utter idiot. In fact, I hope the people involved in this take him to the fucking cleaners over it. Here she goes on, she also said that the man who was at the centre of the dispute was escorted from the train by the police in Malton, so he got booted off the train anyway. A spokesman for British Transport Police said British Transport Police received reports of a fight on board a service between York and Malton stations at 8.13pm on Saturday the 11th of December. Officers are aware of footage posted on social media of this incident and inquiries are ongoing. Which, yeah, they include the video with this article, but it's completely censored and I'm not going to bother to show it. I will link it down below if you want to go and watch it. Now, as I've said, this is all the government and media's fault at the end of the day because they're turning people on each other over something like this. It's completely pathetic and shows just how fucked up people really are. Did he really think getting up in people's faces and doing all of this would have protected him from the virus at the end of the day? What a complete and utter fucking idiot. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>